Here's the problem, the budget's too low. How do you say it without losing the job? I deal with it like every week. Everybody does. Yeah, with the customers. So we trained ourselves to, to fight with them. And what Whoa, I those are strong words. Super dramatic train ride. I didn't think Mark and Aaron was gonna make it, but we got on the train, we're all on the same ride, and we're now leaving Madrid and heading to Barcelona. I'm gonna bust out and edit. Oh, look, they got a skateboard. We're headed off to do a number of workshops with our host, Dot Lung. So now this is um, Passage de Gracia. So this is like the main boulevard of Barcelona. Mm -hmm. yeah. Dot's an incredible human being in that she's actually more active on social media than I am. So when I put it out into the universe that we're going to be in Europe and wanted to do Euro tour, she immediately connected us and hooked up the whole situation and made it happen like that. Is living expense similar to New York? No, it's much lower. It's like it's much half lower. the cost of LA. Really? Yeah. This is not Spain, this is Catalonia. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're separating? It's Anna, yeah. uh, what is it called? Secession? <laughs> yeah. We're GTFOing. Catalonia is not Spain. Hi, I'm Albert de Deu. Uh, I'm from Barcelona, uh, Catalonia, part of Spain for now. Uh, you might have heard about Catalonia in the news lately because of the independent movement that's trying to take off in Barcelona. People in Barcelona want the same as the rest of Spain. We don't want better than everybody else, we just want the same as everybody else. You can't get away from design in Barcelona, you know, like you're walking on it. You have Gaudi doing benches, uh, doing tiles on the ground. Uh, you soak it up like osmosis, you know. The workshop I'm putting on is going to focus on communication and how creative people can comfortably communicate in situations where it's really difficult to talk to the client. So we're gonna do a communication exercise together. I'm gonna to teach you how to not only price hire, not only how to respond to objections, but how to communicate your thoughts very clearly. I'm gonna ask you guys right now, what's like something horrible? Because you know, creative people, we don't like conflict, we don't want tension, we're conflict averse. You know, we're delicate little flowers. We don't wanna deal with that kind of stuff, right? So what's something that we can talk about? Like what's a really difficult, nasty thing to talk about? What is this that hasn't been paid? Oh, an unpaid Over, invoice? Overdue invoice. Overdue invoice. Overdue Woo, invoice. I hate that one. I hate that. Collecting on yeah. bills. Collecting on bills suck. Increase the price. You want to increase the price? Think. All right. It could be a communication or a respond to kind of thing. Okay. Uh, oftentimes, we're not the ones initiating the negative news, the bad news. But sometimes, we're kind of on the bad end of things, right? Here's the problem. The budget's too low. How do you say it without losing the job? Is that a good prompt? You want more money. So we're gonna do an exercise together. Again, one person's gonna play one role, the listener. And when you're listening, I want you to be aware of your emotional state as things are being communicated to you. If you feel like the other person's not listening, they're being argumentative, whatever it is, just write those words down. Oftentimes we think that if we don't say something, that is actually the preferred way to go in business. When in truth, it's the exact opposite. When you don't tell people what you're thinking, you're being obscure, you're beating around the bush, and people just want to get a direct answer from you. The fear is we're gonna say something that truly reflects how we feel and totally piss everybody off in the room. So the art of communication is really about saying what it is you think without offending people in the room. Actually, it was my response, but I want to share it because I deal with it like every week. Everybody does. Yeah, with the customers. So we trained ourselves to, to fight with them and what Whoa. I those are strong words. Yeah, but it, but it is. It is a fight. Actually, it's well, a fight. Well, 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 hold on. You're so angry. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. You know, you flew all the way here this what morning. What about you? <laughs> I'm doing great. Let's just change the energy here a little bit, all right? Okay, how would you respond? What I try to explain to them is that what you, what you give is what you get. If you're willing to pay me for 1K, I can't give you a work that worth 10K. Yeah. Who here has responded to something like that? Almost everybody here, yeah? 
you said something like that. Basically, right now you're in a convincing combative mode. And you're a tough person, so you can say that. So some people here are a little shyer who don't want to say things like that. They just shut up and eat it. They just take the money, right? I'm going to show you how to do a different way. No negative energy, very little negative energy. This is going to be worth the whole talk. In the last 15 minutes, I'm going to deliver it to you right now, okay? I have this metaphor. Metaphor? It's called the train of thought. You've heard this. I've lost my train of thought. It means I can't remember. We're going to flip it. A train of thought has many parts, okay? One is a reaction. The reaction is the caboose. The reaction is what she just said, which is, oh, you're doing this, I can't do this, you get what you pay for, help me, help you, help me, help you, kind of thing. That's called a reaction. Now, most people start right here, and this is the caboose of the train. What's at the front of the train? The engine, okay? It looks something like this. So I just want you to remember this, okay? You start with a feeling, and you want to go with a base emotion. And then you want to connect it with things that you're thinking about prior to reacting. It changes the entire complexion of the dialogue, right? So what was your reaction again? What's the first thing that you said? What you give is what you get. Or you get what you pay for. Yeah. Is that, okay, yeah. That's, that's a more common expression, right? You get what you pay for. So she started, you get what you pay for, right? Now, you want to start with a base emotion. And here's the tricky part. It comes from your limbic brain, the gut feeling, the thing that makes decisions, the things that May, basically, it doesn't have words. It's like, well, people are like, I have a bad feeling about this place or this person. I just, it doesn't feel right. That's usually what people say when they're speaking from the limbic brain. It's not until the limbic brain starts to transfer parts, the neocortex, that words come into play. And oftentimes, in those moments, it comes out wrong. That's why, like, when you're around a, uh, like a handsome man or a pretty girl, you say stupid things. But here's how it works. You start with how you feel. You speak about what you're thinking about, and then you react. So this is what I would say. So what, what, is, the, what is the problem? The budget's too low, right? What do, you, what do you feel when you hear that? I don't feel no, like no, it's no. just like, you I don't feel, feel something? I don't feel happy, because you're I don't feel happy? that the project is going to work, it's going to be Use cool. more words than not happy. Use a word that's maybe a little bit more constructive, but some kind of base feeling. Mm. I'll help you out. I even scanned in a chart for you for feelings. There's a feeling chart right here, right? You're not ecstatic. We know that. That's ecstasy, right? You're not that. So find a feeling in there. Don't say you're loathing, you're angry. Those are not constructive words. Mm. Okay, I'll, I'll help you out, okay? Because yeah. in the interest of time, this is like when we, when we take her Gloria and we put her in the oven, we pull it out, <laughs> I have it ready. Okay, so I'll, okay. I'll, I'll say it for you, okay? I feel uh, uncomfortable. Yeah. I feel a little confused. What you talked about, this wonderful project with all these things, features and functions, I just can't resolve in my brain how we could possibly do that. I'm not saying it can't be done, but I just don't know how to do it. And it makes me feel like, I think you get what you pay for. Okay? Now, does that sound neutral or negative to you guys, or positive? Neutral or positive is what I'm hearing. Anybody feel negative about what I just said? So we know that the tone in which you say something will dramatically impact how the person's receiving it. So before, your kind of directness, or maybe it's just an English thing, you were coming pretty hard at me. I was like, oh, she's kind of angry at me or something. And that's not what you even felt inside. So what I want to do is I want to start with the gut feeling. I want to tell them I'm confused. This is painful for me to even bring up. Maybe I didn't hear something right. And then you say what it is that you want to say as part of the reaction. So go back to this train. You can see how the train works. Start with the gut feeling, say what you think, and then your reaction. I think a lot of people have a hard time translating their emotions into words, and so it gets all mixed up in your brain. So I've created a framework that helps a person to walk through step by step, translating a feeling into thoughts into words. I think the significant part of the communication module that I'm teaching is to help you become more mindful of your thoughts so that you're able to think about your reaction before you say things. So you start with the raw gut feeling. This is where we have to work on because there's a lot of us who are frustrated and we're all angry and we just don't even know why. Sometimes my wife is like that. I'm like, honey, what's wrong? Well, ah, you should figure it out. I'm like, no, I'm trying to figure it out. I want to know. Help me figure it out. That part is not so good at communication but it knows what it knows, and it wants what it wants. Address it, okay? So the trick here is don't start at the ending, start at the beginning.
What is up you guys? It's day three. We're here in Barcelona, just steps away from the beach. Had a wonderful day exploring today because it was our day off. Super awesome. Aaron got a good pump on at the beach. We did a little workout. Even Mark got in some of the action. Yesterday was awesome. Really great engagement. What a fun and dynamic audience we had. We had some really willing participants last night. It's really great. I think where we butt heads or where there might be friction, truth comes from that. And that's why I love doing this kind of style of full contact teaching. No punches pulled. We want to get to the truth and get real. All right, I don't want to be late for our next thing, so I'm going to take off, you guys.